My spine put it back in? What? Generic intro into Duck Goes Move here. Back with some more Red vs. Blue PSAs. I continue to go out of order. Today we're going to be watching Let's All Go to the Movies PSA, Planning to Fail PSA, and Lethargy Crisis? Lethargy? I think that's Lethargy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but we're continuing to go out of order. This playlist is all over the place, so I'm just doing three episodes at a time. If you want to find a reaction to my last Red vs. Blue PSAs, I'll leave that up there, which was the Winter Lames. I, I would watch the Winter Lames. I'd record it, actually. Sarge's Winter Lames? Fantastic. But <laughs> I'm continuing to go through these PSAs. People keep telling me to keep watching these little bonus videos that I uh, like to do because everybody's stuck at home. I'm not sure how long I'm going to continue to do them. I'm just trying to build the channel back up and put out so many videos. This past week, I've been feel only editing one video a night. It feels like a blessing. <laughs> like, and I was like, oh my god, this is the first day in a week I haven't had to edit two videos. It's fantastic, you know, but I'm grateful for, for the position that I am in to be able to uh, create content and people watch it and support and, you know, comment and join Discord servers and show up to streams and all that good stuff. So I hope you're enjoying everything that's going up on the channel here recently. Tons of series, tons of stuff progressing going on. Trying to build the channel back up before it got deleted. Shout out to Patreon down below. Wouldn't be able to do this day in and day out without them. They really helped me through the whole channel being deleted because I kind of went two months without making any money from YouTube, which is super unfortunate because my channel got deleted. Still haven't heard back from YouTube. My lawyers sent a letter like almost two weeks ago by the time you're watching this. So I'll try to keep everybody updated as much as I can. There's a Discord server you can join in case this channel gets deleted. But I think that's just about long enough. There's no reason to keep these intros long. Let's go ahead and get on into Let's All Go to the Movies. God, when was the last time I went to a movie? It was so long ago. Wait, when was the last time I went to a movie? Hi everyone. I'm Brian. 1947? Web series, Red Blue. Yeah. You know, this is the time of year when we all try to figure out ways Do we not have captions? Spending I guess we don't. time with our families than we absolutely have to. And there's no better way to do that than hiding from them in a big dark room with a bunch of strangers. We're talking, of course, about going to the movies. Or if you find today's uh. movies to be too sexually explicit, a strip club. Unfortunately, movie-going manners aren't quite okay what they used that. to be. Nowadays, most people treat a movie theater like their own home. And they treat their home like a gas station bathroom, which is gross. So, we thought it would be a good idea to remind everybody of some common movie-going mistakes to avoid. Clean up after yourself? Talking during the movie. Yeah, don't do Previews? What? what the hell is that? Andy's I don't want some making an appearance? movie that other people have seen already. Those are the sloppy seconds of cinema. Oh, shut, shut up! Shut up! Come on. It's ready to be, be for Silence large. Is golden. Ain't there any dialogue in this picture? That's okay. I got my own soundtrack. This sucks. They know you suck. This is an open mic night. I heard this movie got two thumbs open up. Mic. My question is, up what? Oh, that burn. Why don't you go oh kill God. yourself? Going to the bathroom. Excuse oh, the me. Most Excuse me. Anxiety I, I, ever. I have to go to the bathroom. Wait, what is that? What Get are they showing? Way, is that like see. a trailer? It's not my fault. The small drink is 164 ounces. The small drink is 164 Emergency. ounces? Emergency. Emergency. Sit down, no, you retard. Sit down, shut up. No, wow. Let me. I have a nervous bladder. Oh, boy. Ooh. <sighs> Guy just got shot probably has it's a nervous okay. bladder. I, I don't have to go anymore. Oh, gross. Well, that's I'm disgusting. Pick up the abuse. fucking phone. Turn that off. God, chill out, everybody. I have to take Sister? this. It could be incredibly important. Yo, what up, fool? Oh, it. Oh, nothing. What you doing? Pipe down. Oh, no way. I'm watching that movie right now, too. Shut up. Oh, my God. Oh, what? Snap. They have a conversation. The same theater. What's up, up, girl? What's up, dog? God, doesn't this movie suck? All the people Look, in here not. are assholes. Uh, uh, boy, Annoying kids. Yeah. That's just kids up. in general. Don't tell me how to raise my child. <laughs> Junior. Oh, come on. Take the little brat to the lobby. All right, that's it. Get him, Junior. Whoa! I didn't know this was going to be an action movie. Get him, Junior. Then MC-17 action movie. Oh, God, my spine. Put it back in. Put it back in. Oh, no. So there my you spine have. put it back in? What? Mistakes, and you'll have a fun and safe time at the movies. Hey, can we wrap this up? i got to get to a movie in a few minutes, and I need to get a new tape for my video camera. You're going to videotape the movie? That's yeah. illegal. So? Oh, man, you got to go digital. You'll get a much better copy for the black market. Oh, good idea, man. Thanks. You know, Don't do I that. just hope nobody makes too much noise during the show. People who talk during movies are really ruining the industry. 
Yeah, yes. there ought to be a law. Criminals. Is there a law against... Or maybe that's just them being ridiculous, you know, saying... Like... That other people talking to a movie's criminal. Messing up their recording of a movie, which is highly illegal. Planning to fail. Okay. Planning hey, to Doc, nobody likes you. What? What are you talking about? Everybody likes me. Yeah, everybody hates you. You don't fit in. Oh, I think I fit in just fine. Really? Yes. The whole captain's okay. thing well, is kind of this, Doc. throwing me off. What's your zombie plan? My what? There's two kinds of people in the world, Doc. Those who have a plan prepared for when the zombies take over the Earth, and those who don't. We call those last people dinner. Nobody does that. Oh. In my zombie plan, I'm going to Alaska. Because zombies have no body heat. They'll freeze like corpse sickles. It's brilliant. Corpse Nobody sickles. else thinks about stuff like that. Hey, Simmons! What? What's That's your bad. Plan? Alaska would be a good place to I have two weeks' go. worth of food stored in my attic. I climb up and pull up the ladder with me. What? Two and what weeks? happens at the end of the two weeks? Oh, I'm keeping that to myself. I don't want to risk you turning into a zombie and knowing what I'm up to. Oh, come on. You still doing Alaska? You know it. You'll never make it, Griff. The major freeways will be choked with stall cars where people try to train the major population That's centers. That's a bad idea. It's going to be nothing but a tasty flesh bottleneck. I'm just going to have to take that risk. Good luck to you, Griff. Good luck to you, too, What's Simmons. your zombie plan? Are you guys brain damaged? Hey, you knuckleheads, what's all the hammering about? Hey, Sarge, do you have a, quote, zombie plan, unquote? <laughs> a zombie plan? Of course not. What is See? yours? I told you. I have 37 different zombie plans. Wow. Why? That's preparation. I am seriously impressed, Sarge. Don't Sarge is definitely a Boy Scout. In 36 of the 37 plans, I use your fresh corpse as bait so that I can make my initial escape from the legions of the undead. Well, at least I know there's one plan where I... And in the 37th plan, I knowingly infect myself with the zombie virus just so that I can devour you. Sarge, you've got to be pulling Why would you want to eat Why do you think I carry a shotgun with me at all times? You have to be ready to act on a moment's notice. Yeah. Guys, what if you're not with Griff in the world? apocalypse? I can't believe you spend this much time thinking about. What's that? That's the blues. The blues have been infected. They got them walking. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the attic. Hello, Judah. You have an attic? Wait, Griff. I need your delicious meat for most of my plans. Later, <laughs> no, You don't want to give me a ham or something, do you? No. Where's your moistest meat? Hey, church. How moist. Do we keep this up? When they all go into hiding. Grab their flag and run. Brian. How do they know they were talking about them? Brian. Brian. Kaboom's brains. Brains, not Brian. Oh, sorry. I must have walked up wrong. Oh, boy. Shut up, you guys. They're going to hear us. Hey, Dex, but it's been a while since you had some fresh Tex. meat. Up oh, my yours. God, Tex. Bow, tick, bow. Wow. Oh. Lethargy crisis. Let's get into it. Oh boy. Zombie boy. I imagine John Michael's probably gonna be in the comments saying that he's gonna have some Hi, kind of everyone. zombie plan I'm Private Dick Simmons. involving I'm a bunch of guns Church. and We're here today to talk to you about the soaring cost something. of energy prices. Specifically, gasoline. Gas prices are so high right now that some are no, gonna cut back on basic necessities just to afford to drive to work. Not me. I just quit going to work. To help understand the seemingly never-ending rise idea. in gas prices, I asked my good friend Church to build us a primer to explain the complex economic system behind gasoline production and distribution. Yeah, that actually turned out to be a lot more reading than I thought, so I just rented a copy of Mad Max instead. From what I can tell, the gas crisis has something to do with people in Australia that really like S&M and bondage. You knuckleheads have got it what? completely wrong as usual. I've seen Fury my Road. I haven't seen any of those. Ones. By supply and demand, it's all the taxes. Taxes? That's right. Yep. Don't you know, for every dollar you spend on regular unleaded gasoline, the government takes 137 cents. Sir, I think that your math might that doesn't be a make little sense. off. And they tax you more for the good stuff. That's why mid-grade and premium are always exactly 10 cents more per gallon. No matter how much Are they always cost. 10 cents? That doesn't make any sense. Or wait, does it? Besides, everyone knows that gasoline comes from dinosaurs. If we're running out of gas, the solution isn't to drive less. It's to kill more dinosaurs. All the dinosaurs are already dead. It doesn't have to be just that, dinosaurs, more you know, Any could animal be an turns into well when it dies. So remember, if you want to be environmentally friendly, just Die. kill every living thing you see and bury it. But that process takes millions of and years. Bury it. I've got time. Let me out of here. Griff, unleaded. Worms. Gentlemen, we could debate the fine points all day. But the fact <laughs> remains a gallon of gas still costs less today than a gallon of milk. 
Yeah, but you don't drink three that gallons of milk every time you drive to work. Maybe you don't. Well, we may it's never three gallons of gas to drive to work. So but you can at least take steps to save money. First, try cutting out other petroleum-based products besides gasoline, like paraffin wax, lube oil, synthetic latex, and rubber. Man, don't I just save a ton of money right there? Of course, the easiest way to save is on your commute. Wow. Like try switching your current daily driver to a smaller vehicle instead of the full Not size you probably drive now. Or you could try carpooling to work. Or how about this? How about you use your own two feet and walk? Ah, don't be That's what I do. Of course, cutting back on the like amount of the five feet from my difficult. bed to here. Your insatiable thirst for gas. Actually, it's like three. I know I do. Me too. I drank two gallons this morning. Caboose, I wasn't using the word thirst literally. No. My tummy feels a little weird. You know, that could actually be a lot of fun at Two home. gallons of gas. Uh, I'm just glad it came out of his gas. mouth. Hey, Simmons, Ooh. give me a ride back to base. Yes, sir. No gas. Go. Wait. Anybody Good job. Got a gallon of unleaded? How about a jug of milk? He's got him there. He has got him there. That is for sure. These PSAs are just all over the place. I wonder really where they come up with the IDs for these. Do they think of them like when they're planning seasons of Red vs. Blue and episodes and lines and they're just like, you know what, this doesn't really fit, let's just make it a PSA just to be funny? Do they still do PSAs? I think they still do. Because we saw that one with Jax. I'm on season 15 of Red vs. Blue as of watching this. So, yeah, I'm excited to get into more PSAs, these little bonus videos. They're always, they always try to come out on Thursday for the public. That's when I try to do them. I know last week was a little bit off because I was doing so many double uploads that things kind of got crazy and out of hand. I uploaded double videos on, what, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Well, I didn't upload any videos on Tuesday because of the blackout, but I did four videos on Wednesday and then two videos on Thursday, two videos on Friday, one video on Saturday, two videos on Sunday. It's nuts. It's been crazy, but you all have been supporting that. I cannot thank you all enough for that. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see more from me. I know these don't get a ton of views, but I know some people enjoy them. Let me know what your zombie plan is down below in the comments. I'd love to hear it because I read all the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, cutie music.